and welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today we're making this super easy basil pesto focaccia that's perfect for holiday entertaining. And last week I showed you how to use a simple pizza crust mix to make this crusty olive bread. And today we'll use that same mix to do another bread that's going to be perfect with your cheese board. And the leftovers make killer sandwiches. Now to get started, line a 9 by 12 pan with parchment paper then drizzle over two tablespoons of olive oil and lightly sprinkle the surface of the pan with adobo seasoning, which is like a kicked up garlic salt. Now follow the instructions on the package to prepare the dough, then turn it out onto the prepared pan and cover it with a piece of plastic wrap, which will enable you to press it out evenly over the bottom without the dough sticking to your hands. And once you have that dough worked into an even layer, you can remove the plastic wrap. Next, I like to use the back of a spoon to evenly press small divots over the entire surface of the dough to make little indentations so the pesto will have a place to settle. And for that pesto, you can either make your own or pick up a jar of your favorite store brand and spoon over about a half a cup, which is about half this jar, and the rest of the jar I actually served with the bread on my cheese board and gently spread the sauce over the entire focaccia bread and once you've got pretty even coverage, I like to add additional olive oil. So at this point, drizzle on about four additional tablespoons, then sprinkle on about a half cup of grated Pecorino Romano cheese. Then I like to prick the entire focaccia bread with a fork straight through to the bottom to allow all the flavors of the pesto, cheese, and olive oil to soak right through the entire bread. Now let it rise for about two hours in a warm place, and I didn't even cover it since all that oil will keep it from drying out. Then bake it in a preheated oven for 35 to 40 minutes or until it's light golden brown. And cool it on a baking rack to maintain a crusty exterior. Then you can slice it and dig in. And when you're done with the party, the leftovers make incredible sandwiches. Just slice a piece in half, Throw on your favorite meats and cheeses, wrap it in foil, pop it in the oven for a few minutes, and you've got an incredible lunch. The flavor and texture of this bread is just incredible. And if you need a printed copy of this recipe, you could always visit my blog at the link below. And for more quick, easy, entertaining ideas for the holiday season, don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon.